Hey guys, what's up? It's Alec James My Cookies back with another video. So I was gonna show my face in this video, but I decided against it. I was afraid that armies are gonna flip on this video uh, because I'm mentioning it maybe sort of maybe being BTS's last album. And you know, I just don't need that hate on my video. I don't need that hate on my face. Um, so yeah, it's no why. That's why there's no face in this video. There's never any faces, but I was like thinking about it i was like i could i could i could but i didn't um just a little disclaimer this entire video is just speculation not factual i'm not connected to big hit in any which way so i have no way of knowing any insider information on whether or not this is bts's actual last album this is just what i think could happen this is all just based on feelings and i guess vibes I've gotten off of the most recent album. So again, none of this is factual. This is just a theory. A K-pop theory. All right, let's dive right in. So the first portion of this video, I'm going to take you through the vibes. Um, so right off the bat, the first song on the album is Life Goes On. A beautiful, fantastic song. It's different from anything they've put out before, and it really puts you in that calming headspace. This song makes me just close my eyes and take deep breaths as I fall into an embedded trance where I'm just focusing on the sound of my breathing along with the sound of the music. It almost takes you into like meditation, you know what I mean? It's just that very calming, like down to earth. You're just feeling your breathing. I My meditation app would be proud of me. This song encapsulates you in a way that I've never experienced before and it wraps around you just like a warm hug. But most of the time, when someone describes a song as a warm hug or a calming experience, they're usually talking about a slow song, such as The Truth Untold, also by BTS. Fun fact, my favorite song by BTS. But that's not Life Goes On. The song is slow for BTS, yeah, but it almost gives bedroom pop vibes, which is my favorite genre of music. However, the song sounds like the exordium to their, fav their final album, almost like the denouement of their career. I don't know if I said that right. Um, this entire album feels like the closing of a chapter, not necessarily the closing of the book that is BTS. Frankly, I believe that this would be a good ending point for the boys. Not necessarily their last album, but their last album for a hot sec. This, like, these songs in this album feel very much like the boys accepting that this might be their last album together. This album feels like the little bow that ties their entire career together. And that's the vibes I get off of it. That's the vibes of this album. And now we're going to go into the meanings. Let's start with the song Disease, or I guess Dis-Ease, as it's phonetically spelled out, which is definitely on purpose. Um, this song talks about the feeling of being overworked and burnt out, something I'm sure the boys have felt through this year and years before that. Not so fun of a fact, when the boys went on hiatus last year around September-ish, that's the first time they had gotten a prolonged break since they debuted. Since they debuted. It had been six years since they had had a break from their careers where they were just able to relax. And I'm sure, I wouldn't know personally, but I'm sure that can be quite tolling. However, I'm sure all of us at some point in our lives have felt burnt out, and we can all relate to this song in a way that I'm sure BTS meant for us too. And no matter how much someone loves what they do, like I'm sure people make the argument that BTS love performing, they love making music, they love dancing, and I'm sure they do. It's not having a break can be taxing, and the song Dis-Ease points that out to us. Quote, that friend called rest oh, I never liked him, end quote. And that touches on how often they're missing out on rest just for the music and just for, just for ARMY, really. Quote, how much do you have to earn to be happy, end quote. And that's always, that relates to that quote of, you know, can money buy happiness, which, as we all know, it can't. Uh, the song's lyrics describe how the boys feel overworked in their careers. Uh... Fly to my room touches on being transported mentally, even though physically your body stays in one spot. 
In the song, Yoongi calls the room, quote, a trash can of emotions, which not only is a funny lyric, but one that I feel like most of the audience can relate to. In Blue and Gray, probably my favorite album op- favorite song off the album, the boys touch on their depression. When Yoongi feels blue, Namjoon feels gray. Yoongi raps about how since he was young, there was a blue cr- question mark in his mind, and that the blue sh- shadow swallows him whole. Namjoon says he doesn't trust in certainty, and that gray is what's comforting. All of the members individually sing the line, I just want to be happier. The song is sad and dark, but almost in a comforting way. The boys feel comfortable enough to share these dark emotions with ARMY, which is beautiful in itself. The song gives off this description of how people feel, almost like BTS put into words what ARMY could not. However, if I didn't know better, to me, this would sound like a cry for help. In the beginning, Tay sings, quote, Someone, please come save me. Jungkook then continues to sing, I guess everybody's happy. Can you look at me? Jin continues, or Jimin, I should say, continues towards the middle, quote, Don't say it's okay, because it's not okay. Please don't leave me alone. It hurts so much. And those lyrics just hit you hard. And this album feels like it hits you hard the entire In the end, this little ending part, this album could possibly be their last. Jin is expected to enlist by this time next year. Uh, Though none of us would like to see him go into the military, it's his civil duty as a uh, South Korean man, and it's, it's bound to happen. This album feels like a temporary close in the book that is BTS. They'll open a new chapter with temporarily one less member, but they'll continue. This album feels like a good stopping point, at least for a little while. The car that is BTS has hit the stop sign, and they're going to wait for a bit, but they'll continue. Maybe after promotions, they'll go on another mini hiatus for a bit, because they've had quite the year. Personally, I just don't know how they'll top this album. It's beautiful. It's meaningful. I've never listened to a full album quite as just emotionally feeling as this one. That didn't make grammatical sense. I'm sure BTS can do it again. I just don't know how. And that is the end of this video. Um, I was speaking very slow. I don't know why. I kind of sound like I was high. Um, I'm not, by the way. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I love you all oh so much. Um, I'll be here next week. Bye! Mwah, 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 mwah.